Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to get super close-up macro photography photos like this one right here. So I have a dragonfly sitting on a branch in front of my Canon PowerShot camera right here. And all I have to do is line up my shot, get it focused. And I have a nice photo of a dragonfly and I can also zoom in and use my manual zoom to zoom out. Dragonfly actually moved. So to get this kind of shot, what you're going to need is a digital camera. So I have a Canon power shot. This is the SX60HS and I am recording with the SX40HS so this is the older model and here's the newest one with a much larger optical zoom up to 65 times but to get these nice macro shots this is what you need this is the Raynox DCR150 macro lens made in Japan and it's only about $75 and you can find it on Amazon and all you have to do is clip it onto your camera. My, my clip broke, but I glued it and it still fits. And all you really need are ridges on the inside of your camera that this lens can attach to. And then it just clips on. And mine, this actually fell off maybe two weeks ago into a swamp. You know, it just kind of flipped off. But it fits better on the SX40HS and I'm probably on the SX50 and it's kind of hard to fit on the SX60 but as you can see it's possible. So all you have to do is zoom in and keep your camera about 6 inches away from your target. So you can see here there is the dragonfly that I am photographing. And my camera is a solid, you know, six plus inches away. And all you have to do from here is set your camera to AV mode. I use also the cloudy filter to make things more vivid and green. And then you can set it on manual focus. So there's the dragonfly. Or you can do autofocus. And the way you do it with these point-and-shoot cameras is to get it focused you move the camera in and out so if I'm out of focus but this is the shot I want I want the shot at you know I want to fit his whole body in the shot so I'm going to zoom out some and the further you zoom out the closer you're going to need to move your camera in forward that's just how it works. So I'm going to lift up my camera with the tripod and I'm going to move him forward. However, if I want to get extremely close on his eyes, for example, as you can see, it's going to get very blurry. So I'm focused on his eyes or I have my camera set up, but as you can see, it's very blurry. So to get a super macro shot, you're going to need to move the camera with the tripod back physically. So I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to move it back a few inches. And as you can see, I went a little bit too far. So this is the precision game. It's getting the camera correctly positioned and then I'm going to zoom in and once you get approximately the right distance, you can switch into manual focus and you can just finish off the perfect focus. And there you have it. So this isn't the most colorful dragonfly that you'll see around here, but it's one that will sit still for my photo here. So that's all you got to do. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. So we have the Canon PowerShot digital camera. 
You can get them used on eBay and a Raynox macro lens.